Casino Royale Nights. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Casino Royale Nights. Now, this is a fragrance that is supposed to copy Baccarat Rouge 540 EDP. I actually did a review on this channel not too long ago, maybe like two or three years ago, but it was just about to be the 4th of July here in America and I was just looking around for my scents and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go with Casino Royale Nights because I haven't sprayed it in like probably a year. And then after spraying it for the 4th of July, uh, I had barely any left because this bottle was donated by a great guy named, I think, Kurt. I really love the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. There's several copies of it that smell very, very good. I mean, even the cheaper copies of it still smell pretty good to me. I don't know what it is. I just love the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. It was probably my favorite DNA for a long time, maybe for like a year or two. It just really blew me away. Coming back to it, it has been a nice experience. Let's go into the notes. Actually, I'm glad that I went on Dua's website because they have some really specific notes. So they have this stuff called Gandiforum Jasmine from Egypt. Saffron, bitter almond from Morocco, resins, cedar, musk, and ambergris. I've said this before, but to me, Baccarat Rouge 540 kind of smells like this sexy, transparent strawberry cotton candy. With the more eau de parfum versions or the more full version of it, it is less transparent, just a slightly more full, but generally like a, a strawberry cotton candy, really sexy, really good, really high quality really high quality and you know it comes from Dua so Dua is just crazy good quality like I would kind of be afraid to be a fragrance creator to go against Dua just because they're so freaking good. So let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it has a phenomenal smell. I absolutely love the Baccarat Rouge 540 DNA. I was kind of just like nothing can touch it. Now to me I think it's a top 10 DNA. It's still maybe even a top 5 because I love it. But at the same time, I'm not like as mesmerized as, a, as I was by it before. And I do see a little more of the flaws that I knew about it, but it's still, I just love this fragrance. It smells so good. And I would say like the pros is that it has a unique, super sexy, super great vibe. I mean, obviously if you smell Baccarat Rouge 540 and the clones, which a lot of people in the fragrance community have, it's not as impressive, but to me, if I was gonna come into a sexy situation and I wanted you know, one fragrance to just push somebody over the edge and just kind of be mind blown that something smells so good, this is hard not to reach for because I just enjoy it that much. Most of the copies, to be honest, retain that vibe and still smell sexy, but Dua is probably one of the better ones to do it in the game and just as perfect as you could get. And super sexy and super delicious. Overall, just absolutely love this stuff. So if we're getting to cons, it really doesn't have too many. I would say the main con, and this is for the males out there, is that it is a little bit unisex. There are some situations where you want a classic, slightly rugged style scent or like musky style scent or safe style scent. And this scent is safe, but it is just so sexy and special that if you wanted something to be more like, oh, I'm, a, I'm an aggressive man, or oh, I just got out of the shower, I'm a fresh man. It doesn't really have that vibe, but that's really almost the only bad thing I could say about it is that it's a little unisex, it's maybe a little feminine, but for some people that would probably even be a pro, especially if you're a girl. This is one of the few fragrances that if a girl wore, I would think it smells very good on them and they could wear it too, it doesn't matter to me. So that's really the only cons and that's probably the only thing people are gonna say is that it smells a little feminine, it, it doesn't have that typical musky, manly, everyday kind of scent that a lot of people like, including me, I like that too. But I would say those are the cons. The smell rating, to be honest, before I would have probably given it like a 9.5, I'm gonna give it a solid nine out of 10 absolutely love this stuff. Likeability, I'm going to have to give it an 8.5 to a 9, but I would say under certain situations, this could be a 10. And like I was saying, in certain situations, if I was in like football practice or something, definitely not as good as it would be somewhere else. I would give this an 8.5 to a 9 out of 10. And then longevity and projection, I got about an 8 on this one. I don't know if this is an older bottle because I did get this one used from a subscriber and I did spray it all. But from my experience, it was a pretty much a solid 8. So I did check before I did this review and it was currently sold out. It's some great stuff and I do recommend 
recommend getting the Casino Royale Knights just because it probably will last a little bit longer and it'll probably be harder to recreate. So if you're already gonna spend the money, might as well buy the best one that you can. So that's been a little re-review of Casino Royale Knights. And I do wanna try some of their mixes with the other Baccarat Rouge 540 clones that they have as well. I think they have a lot more of them than Fierce and things like that. Somebody was just telling me they did another copy of Fierce or another blend with Fierce where to be honest, I'm probably in a honeymoon with their Fierce style clones again because I just love them so much. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think of this fragrance. Let me know which other duos I should check out next. Really like this one, really like all the other duos. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.